Before I start, kindly I ask the parents their attention and please keep your children with you. I really appreciate that. Jazakallah khair. Bismillah. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon all of you. Wanakam, I go on. Good evening, dear respected religious leaders, Consulate General of Sri Lanka, His Excellency Mr. Lal Vikramatunga, community leaders, guests, brothers, sisters, and my dear children. Ramadan Karim to you all. Wishes for Ramadan wishes. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to this iftar of Sri Lanka Muslim Association tonight. We thank the God Almighty Allah for giving us this opportunity to gather here in this blessed month of Ramadan. We are gathered here as a Sri Lankan. We are all united today as children of our beloved country Sri Lanka. Ramadan is month of blessings, month for deeds and forgiveness. Time of breaking fast is time of joy. One month ago, we were gathered with profound sadness following the horrific attack on Easter Sunday, while those painful memories are still fresh in our mind. We are sitting here with sadness and sorrow tonight because of the distur disturbing news coming from our country. Once again, racist thugs have caused violence against innocent Muslims in Sri Lanka. Both terrorism and communal violence are not new to our motherland. It has been going uh, on for, for far too long. It is time for us to unite together to curb racism and violence in our beloved country. Although we are living thousands of kilometers away, Sri Lanka is our motherland. It is our duty as Sri Lankans to stand up against terrorism and racism in order to ensure a prosperous future for Sri Lanka. Consulate General Mr. Lal Vikram Tunga has always worked closely with us in this time of difficulty on behalf, on behalf of our community. I thank you for that, Your Excellency. In this holy month of Ramadan, may Allah shower his blessings on Sri Lanka for unity, peace and prosperity. Also, I would like to thank the people who have donated and contributed for this iftar and for the upcoming iftar as well. Jazakallah khair. Everybody, please make for their family and for them uh, dua while they are praying. May Allah grant peace and harmony to all of us. God bless Sri Lanka. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now, I would like to ask Sheikh Muhammad al-Bizri to the front. 
Jazakallah khair. Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa mamala. Jazakumullah khairan, my dear respected brothers and sisters, for this honorable invitation. Wallahi, it's extremely appreciated and I'm truly humbled. May Allah Azza wa Jalla accept from us and you. Amen. There's a lot of youth here tonight, so we thought, why not address the youth themselves? Because the children of today are tomorrow's leaders. And as I always say, building children right today is better than repairing broken adults tomorrow. If we were to ask the youth, and when I say youth, it's anyone under the age of 40 in Islam. Anyone who is under 40 years of age is still considered youth. So alhamdulillah, despite my grey hairs that are starting to appear, I'm considered youth. And I see a lot of the older brothers here, the husbands, and maybe even the wives, they're very happy that I said that if you're under 40, you're still youth. And if you're over that, then you are our respected elder, who I'm sure you have youth under your care. So this talk relates to everyone. If we were to ask the youth, what's the best story out there? Most of them will say, the best story is the story of Avengers Endgame, that killed it. Others say, no, no, it was one before, Infinity War. Others say, what are you talking about? It's a DC movies, right? Batman v Superman. Others will say, no, it's Star Wars. Others say, no, the best story is Rocky. Others might say, it's gone with the wind, right? <laughs> if they're old school. How many of our youth, and I'm talking about us, if we're asked, what is the best story? How many of us would say the best story is a Quranic one? Not many. But you know what? I don't blame just the youth. I blame us as well. As parents, as teachers, as preachers. Because sometimes we're not engaging the youth. We're not talking on their level. And sometimes when we speak, we might as well release sleeping gas. Right? And put them all to bed. So it falls on us as well. So I'm sure it's fair to say that we all share a part of the blame. But what are the best of stories? No doubt, the Quranic ones. Stories from the Quran. And of course, it's the month of the Qur'an. You know when Allah says, Shahr Ramadan in Surah Al-Baqarah, the month of Ramadan, ask many Muslims, when you think of Ramadan, what do you think of? The first thing that comes to your mind, many will say, when I think of Ramadan, I think Tarawih, true? Others say, no, when I think of Ramadan, I think of Suhoor. Others say, no, Iftar. Right? What are some nice Sri Lankan dishes, right? The samosas, do you call them samosas here? Yeah, I think of those. You know? Maybe our wives will say, when I think of Ramadan, I think dish. Right? I have to do all the dishes for my husband. And, and by the way, if we're having an amazing Ramadan, we have to thank the amazing people that made that happen. Our wives, our sisters, our daughters, our aunties, our mothers. You know, because they do so much for us. They prepare the suhoor, they prepare the iftar, they're running around taking care of the kids, taking care of the chores, looking after us as men, right? All the while trying to read Qur'an, engage in Siyam and Qur'atul uh, Qur'an in Qiyam. They're doing all of this, subhanAllah, well, you know, so we can make the most out of it. So we should thank them as well. But the point is, the best of stories are the Qur'anic ones. And it's the month of the Qur'an. And I said, when we think of Ramadan, what do we usually think of? Taraweeh. Yeah, some of us think of iftar, some of, some of us think of other things. But when Allah mentioned Ramadan in the Qur'an, He didn't say, Ramadan, Shahr Ramadan, alladhi taqoomuna fi. It's the month in which you stand up in night prayers. Or it's the month, alladhi tasoomuna fi. It's the month in which you fast. Even though that's part of Ramadan, Allah said, Shahr Ramadan, alladhi unzila fi Qur'an. It's the month in which the Qur'an was revealed. So Allah connected Ramadan to Qur'an. He connected those two. So it's only appropriate, it's timely that we speak about the Qur'an. And they have the best of stories. You know why? Because Allah said so. Jazakallah Sheikh um, for the wonderful reminder. It appears to all of us that we need to go back to the miracle that is the Qur'an. And also it is important that we learn about our prophets and the Sahabas. Now I would like to welcome our next special guest. That will be the Sri Lankan Consul General, um, Mr. Lal Vikramatunga. Uh, Mr. Lal doesn't require any introduction. He has been supporting us for past few events. And <coughs> as Brother Nilam said, you know, he's been a great help for, for our community. So now I would like to welcome Mr. Lal to the front. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening. Ayubo and Wanakam. Sheikh Muhammad Al Bisri. Mr. Nilam, President of Alma. 
representatives of other religious denominations from the Catholic Association, from the Sri Lanka Association, from the Cultural Forum and uh, Tamil Seniors Association, brothers and sisters. I thank you all for inviting the other concerts and my staff to attend the second Niftar in this holy month of Ramadan. We have always been very closely associated with the Sri Lankan Muslim community who has been in the forefront in supporting the consulate in getting all communities together. I thank you all for that. At this time it is unfortunate of the recent incidents that happened in Sri Lanka. After 10 years of relative peace, we are in turmoil again. And the fallout has continued. Fortunately, things are settling down. But I would like to remind you of, since we were talking of stories, I'd like to tell a little story myself, which reflects some of the problems we have had and some of the problems, how they can be solved. It's several pigeons were settled on top of a Hindu temple. And the little pigeons asked the elderly pigeons, who are we? And the elders said, we are pigeons. And at that time, it so happened, there were some repairs being done at the Hindu temple, and all the pigeons moved to the top of the mosque. After a while there, the minarets were being painted, and the pigeons moved to the top of a Buddhist temple. And as things are, there were repairs to the Dagaba and the pigeons moved to the top of the Catholic Church. And the youngest pigeons asked the elders, why are we moving? And, and the senior pigeon said, well, some of these, when they are being renewed, we move to another area, but we stay together. We look after each other. At that time, down on the street, there were some people quarreling and asked, uh, the pigeons asked, who are they? And the senior pigeon said, they are humans. Then why are they fighting amongst themselves? When something happens, you say, we move. But humans who are doing the repairs and all this, they are quarreling. So, in that story is that it's us humans who need to lead example of embracing humanity of mankind first. And I leave that message with you during this holy month of Ramadan and thank you very much for having invited us and please assure that our consulate is open at any time. You're most welcome to come with whatever requests, problem solving, or even just a chat and a cup of Sri Lankan tea. Thank you.
We're about to begin, inshallah. If the sisters don't mind keeping the children with them until we're done, and then the, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, Maliki Yawm Al Din, Iyaka Nabud wa Iyaka Nasta'in. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين ألم يأن الذين آمنوا أن تخشى قلوبهم لذكر الله لذكر الله وما نزل من الحق 
ولا يكونوا كالذين أوتوا الكتاب من قبل فطال عليهم الأمد فقست قلوبهم وكثير منهم فاسقون اعلموا أن الله يحيي الأرض بعد موتها قد بينا لكم الآيات لعلكم تعقلون Oh, yeah. 